to part two of the get to know me tag okay guys sorry my phone did the things over there so i was still telling you about my faves um i love zuki i love most of the people that are on that is it cosmo was it cosmo michali y'all's you know the gang the gang all the people actually everyone that was on there those are some of my faves um Snee, you know, she's amazing. I love her fashion sense. Um, and just her character. She's just dope. Yeah, a lot of people. And to be honest, on YouTube, some of the the people, actually the person that I learned how to do my lashes from, this is back in 2013 around, um, was, I was about to say Patricia Bright, but I'm lying because Patricia Bright, I discovered after I discovered Shirley. So those are like old school faves and the new school faves. No, guys, I'm trying to get the lady who I learned the bras from, Missy Lynn. I always used to refer people. I'd be like, where did you learn to do your bras? I'm like, guys, 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 go get yourself. I feel like the light's about to switch up, so I just need to go get yourself on Miss Lynn's channel. And she, she taught me how to do the bras, guys for real um yeah and the makeup people that are on youtube tandy you know tandy gamma she's really amazing <coughs> lance her name is lance right some people i don't watch like an awful lot but those are some of my faves okay, february yay february memory <laughs> favorite memory from childhood <laughs> Uh, my oh my favorite memory from childhood guys is my grandfather remember when you had those razor phones the Motorola my grandfather came back with that phone as a surprise for me it was just the sweetest the worst thing was that <laughs> it was actually a, a display phone and it wasn't a real phone so that was a uh, <laughs> so that was like the sweetest thing ever honestly my grandfather was the sweetest anyway where was i favorite childhood memory um how would you describe my fashion sense good question i don't know <laughs> um my fashion sense is comfortable my fashion sense is um sometimes daring sometimes makes no sense it's not a fashion sense because it makes no sense um it sometimes it's all over the place but most times it's getting it right <laughs> i just i don't know i wouldn't i don't know how to describe my fashion sense i just think i'm comfortable and i'll look out for trends and try and fit that in you know here and there you know like today the skirt you can't see it because yeah but it's like animal print vibes and like i said earlier i was on some trying to be an insta insta girl on some bomber jacket on my shoulders and no not practical so like i said i'm a comfort girl so that's why my jacket is like this it's sitting because i mean really um yeah so that's my fashion sense sometimes elegant sometimes classy sometimes hood you know i'm just the what time of day is it what's the occasion kind of dresser all right what phone do you have ios versus android why is it a versus situation why must it be a competition it's an android thank you very much it's a huawei it's a huawei and i'm very happy with it thank you very much bye tell us one of your bad habits one of my bad habits one of my bad habits oh definitely procrastination and leaving things to last minute you know, I feel like to a certain extent, I work well under pressure, but sometimes you don't need to add the pressure to yourself because sometimes the pressure is already there. You know what I mean? So that's a bad habit that I need to lose. How is your relationship with your parents? Like I said, I have to now explain two sides. Um, my relationship with my mother is fantastic. It's good. It has its ups and downs like any other mother-daughter relationship. But my relationship with my dad is kind of non-existent, to be honest. And I've tried to reach out, da-da-da-da-da. Sorry for another day. It's pretty much non-existent. Okay. Uh, what's on my mind? What's on my mind is... <sighs> Gero, you have started this. Are you going to keep up? Are you going to bring the fire content are you going to give the people what they want? 
I don't know. But this is this is what's happening. Oh my goodness. Another point is that it's late. So I need to get this done so I can edit it and get it online ASAP. Um, okay. And what's my talent, guys? Did not answer that. I feel like I did. Oh, that one said special talent. So me, I already answered because I don't know what the special talent is. Okay, one word that describes you. Me. <laughs> I'm kidding. One word that describes me would be happy. Ge uh, happy. I think I'm generally a happy person. I'm an extrovert or an introvert. I am a bit of both, to be honest. I'm skipping some questions because they've been repeated. Any pets? What is the furthest you've traveled from home? Then I'm just going into the next one. Am I an, an extrovert or an introvert? I'm a bit of both. I think I'm, at first I'm an introvert and I do love my me time. But I think introvertedness is really just not being able to bear w with being around people. And guys, sometimes I'm really that person. I literally will avoid people. Y'all don't even understand. Um, but I'm trying to go back to being that ha -la -la, extroverted person that I have always been. But I generally am an extrovert. I, it's quite easy for me to just, you know, make conversation. Although, let me tell you, the conversation will be weird as hell because I'm just awkward. Like, it's so hard to start conversations with people, guys. I, I just, I don't know what to say. And I'm just like, oh, you're, her, oh. I don't know. I don't know. It just happens like that. Um, yeah, am I left or right handed? I'm right handed and don't ask me why I wear my watch on my right if I am right handed because it's, they're both my hands and it's my watch so I can wear it on any hand that I want. If I want to wear it on the right side, I wear it on the right side. Okay. Do you consider yourself a good cook? Honey. Ha honey. Honey. One day is one day, guys. We're doing get like invite little jandi jutak ma suta. And people that have tasted my food generally have good things to say. So I ain't gonna toot my own horn, but do do. Okay. Um, what's your favorite thing to have for breakfast? I'm not much of a breakfast person, but if I'm to say a favorite thing, I enjoy fruit salad for breakfast. Mm, to be honest, I I don't. I don't have a favorite thing for breakfast, but I'd say, yeah, yeah, uh, fruit salad would be it. I know, not so interesting and great, but yeah. And that does not by any means mean that I am a healthy person. No, I try, but I definitely don't get it right all the time. And what's my favorite gadget? I'm not a gadgets person as well, so I don't even have gadgets, but if we're gonna call anything a gadget, it's gonna have to be this phone. Hello phone, how you doing? You're my favorite gadget, thanks. Um, and what's my longest relationship so far? <laughs> it's my relationship with daddy. <laughs> I don't even call him that, I don't even know why I said that. Cause he's not a daddy guys. <laughs> I think both daddy, give us a baling, baling age gap, and then get daddy. But no, no, no. Anyway, that was not the question, the question was, What's your longest relationship so far? My longest relationship so far is a six years and counting. <laughs> so we've been in a relationship for six years, guys. That's how long we've been together. Imagine that. That's how long. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so those were the questions and those were the answers. And I hope that you guys enjoyed getting to know me. That was a lot. And this is going to be such a lengthy video. But please um, do like, subscribe, and all those nice things. I don't even know what to say. Comment down below. What is it that you think my channel is going to be about? What is it that you want to see on my channel? But my channel is called Life with Miss Keiru. And the life has is going to be an acronym on different episodes. I'll be calling them episodes. Yes, baby girl. Or posts, whatever. You know, life stands for different things. So I'm still going to get into that. If you watch Jane the Virgin, you will know that when the, the series starts, it, it has their Jane the Virgin. And then they cancel the version and write whatever is appropriate to whatever is happening in Jane's life at that point. So that's what I'll be doing with the life. And instead of canceling it, obviously it will be more of an acronym for different things. Plain and simple. Pretty straightforward. So I'm looking forward to 
doing more of this hopefully you guys will stay tuned i know this is so long is anyone gonna watch it to the end well let's see as long as we have the views right next time i will try to make it shorter i'm not promising anything like i said i speak a lot so i'm gonna try cut it down thank you so much guys oh and guys i do have stuff that is on youtube but it's not my content it belongs to a good friend of mine so you should check out her channel as well she is desiree tan i'm not sure what her uh youtube channel's name or channel what is it a handle or is it a channel name but anyway i don't know what her name the name of her channel is um wow but her name is Desiree Tan, so check her out. Um, I have stuff that I've done with her. It's called Can You Sing It? And we give each other words and we start singing that because we're just fabulous. I'm kidding, but we are fabulous. But that's not the point. The point is that we love singing. <laughs> so we sing along to everything. Our lives are musicals. So, starting out, peace, love, and happiness. Much love, guys. That was a lot. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, let me let me do it like the the real YouTubers do it. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching my channel. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching.